Welcome friends, myself Shoptapurni from BioLive. Hope all of you are doing very well. So today I will teach you a simple method to calculate Shannon Wiener Diversity Index for a hypothetical community by quadrate method. Okay, this thing may come into your theoretical examination as well as in your practice examination also they will give you a chart like this of a hypothetical community and they will mark some quadrants of that community okay and you ha you have to find out the Shannon winner diversity index uh, from this hypothetical community by the quadrate method okay by uh, by getting the information from the quadrate so see here in this community in this hypothetical community you can clearly see that there are five types of species so the hypothetical community has five different types of species a b c d and e and now count individuals of each species from each quadrate and prepare the data table so you have to count the individual number of species from each quadrate okay individuals of each species from each quadrate so see how to prepare the data table here for calculating the Shannon Wiener index. See here the species is A, B, C, D and E. Now their individual number, the individual number of each species is for A it is 8. Why 8? Because see in quadrate 1 there are 2 A species. So 2 plus 1 plus 1, 2, 3 plus 1 plus 1. So 2 so 2 plus 1 3 plus 3 6 plus 1 7 plus 1 8 like that calculate the total number of individuals for each species okay so we have got that for species a the total number of individual is 8 for b it is 6 for c it is 4 for d it is 3 and for e it is 3 okay so total number of individuals of all the species in all the quadrant all the five quadrant is 24 now find out the relative abundance by dividing small n by the capital N and you will get this column and always remember the value the summation of all these values should be 1 ok now calculate the LNPI value uh, in your calculator and then multiply each LNPI with their respective PI value and get this column ok so now sum up all these values and get the summation of pi ln pi equal to minus 1.54 so what will be your shannon winner diversity index as we know the shannon winner diversity index a is equal to minus of summation of pi ln pi so it will be 1.54 now you have to tell if your community is highly diverse or is there uh, or is it lesser in diversity or is there no diversity or is there maximum diversity from this value so how to state that see what will be your range of uh, diversity okay so the range of h the shannon winner index should be 0 to h max where h max equal to ln of s s means species richness that means the total number of species present in your community or in your quadrant so obviously the range would be 0 to ln of 5 because here only 5 species are present a b c d e which uh, the value of ln 5 equal to 1.6 so the uh, range of h the range of shannon winner index is 0 to 1.6 now see your observed value is 1.54 which is very nearer to the h max value that is 1.6 so that indicates that your community is highly diverse because the observed value 1.54 is very nearer to the h max value maximum diversity value for your community okay so your community is highly diverse so you have to write it like this the value of Shannon Wiener index for the above mentioned hypothetical community is 1.54, okay, which is closer to the maximum value of Shannon Wiener diversity index that is H max equal to ln of 5 equal to 1.6, okay, this is the maximum value of diversity for the given community. So, it indicates that there is a high level of biodiversity in this community, okay. Now, you have to now see one thing here the um, 
distribution of each species is almost is is quite even okay and uh, no no species is too much dominant and no species is too much rare that is why the diversity index of this population is higher okay as we know that diversity is dependent on two things the species richness and another one is species evenness so here evenness is also good and richness is also good that is why the uh, diversity is also higher okay now we will see three different conditions where you will find there is no diversity or maximum diversity or lower level of diversity okay so let's see those examples too to so see when there will be the value of h will be zero that means no diversity when this will occur obviously the diversity will be zero when there will be only one species present in your community see here in this hypothetical community only one type of species is present that is a species and in all the quadrants there is only one species so the richness of species is one that is only a species the total number of a species in all the quadrants is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and total number of uh, all the species that is as it is uh, here only one species is present small n is also 6 capital n is also 6 so relative abundance becomes 1 6 by 6 equal to 1 ln of pi equal to 0 as we know ln of 1 equal to 0 so pi ln pi equal to also 0 so summation of pi ln pi is 0 so as a result h value or shannon winner diversity index is also 0 which indicates that there is no diversity also see that the range will be 0 to h max here h max equal to ln of 1 ln of 1 equal to 0 so the only value here could be 0 so uh, if they ask you Uh, if in a hypothetical community there is only one type of species is present what will be its diversity so there will be no diversity okay now another question may come when the diversity will be maximum okay now we will see this in this problem in this hypothetical solution uh quadrant okay in this hypothetical community see in this hypothetical community you will find that a b c three types of species are present and all of them are quite evenly distributed okay and in this three quadrant c the number of a number of b and number of c species are equal okay so let's do the chart species a has total number 3 1 2 3 B has total number of three individuals one two three and C has also total number of three individuals one two three so all have same number of individuals that is three so the total number of individuals of all the three species is nine now find out the relative abundance it will be zero point three three for each of them then find out L N P I and P I L N P I the summation of P I L N P I becomes minus one point one one So the H, the Shannon winner diversity index is one point one one, which indicates maximum diversity. Why is it indicating maximum diversity? How will you know? To for that you have to find out the range. Here the range is from zero to H max. H max equal to L n of three as species richness is three. A, B, C three species are present, and the value of L n three equal to one point one one. So the range of H is zero to one point one one, and your observed H is also one point one one, which indicates that there is maximum diversity. So without doing these things you can also say that this is there will be maximum diversity because all the species are evenly distributed the max the evenness is maximum for this community that is why uh, the diversity is also maximum you can also find out the evenness component evenness index that is pi lewis index or j by dividing h observed h by h max so here both of them are same so j equal to 1 which indicates maximum species evenness in this community so whenever there will be maximum species evenness in any community there will be maximum diversity okay now we will see another example where you you will find out that uh, when there could be lower level of diversity so see here in this hypothetical community you will see that there is a dominance of a species everywhere there is a species and among them uh, somewhere there is b species 
and there is C species. Okay. So, when we will uh, draw the uh, data chart, we will see that species A is present in 8 number in the in this quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Whereas B and C are present as one individual. Here only one individual of C and here only one individual of B in these two quadrant. So from this table it is very evident that species A is dominant over species B and C. Okay. So obviously there will be low diversity because from uh, Simpson's index we have known that whenever there will be uh, any dominant species in a community there will be lower level of diversity. So we will also see that through Shannon Winner Index. So here capital N equal to 10. Uh, then find out the relative abundance of each of the species. Then LNPI and PI LNPI and the summation of PI LNPI becomes 0 minus 0 0.636. So the uh, Shannon Winner Diversity Index is minus of summation of PI LNPI that is 0 0.636. Now you can easily say that this value is very less. Why? Because the range of this hypothetical community, the range for age of this hypothetical community is 0 to H max which is LN3. That means 0 to 1.11. 1, 1. And your observed value is 0 0.636 which is uh, very lesser than the H max value 1.11. So, as the observed Shannon Winner Index or the H index is 0 0.636 which is lesser than the H max that is 1.11. So, it indicates that the community has a lower level of biodiversity. Okay. So, in this video we have seen uh, when a community, when a hypothetical community may have no diversity, when there will be maximum diversity, when there will be lower diversity and when there will be higher diversity. So, uh, this is very simple calculation. You have to just find out, you have to just draw the um, data table and find out the range and the H max value. Then you can easily say if the your observed value is showing higher diversity or lower diversity. If the observed H is nearer to the H max then the community is showing the higher diversity and if the value is um, not closer to the um, H max then the community is showing lower diversity okay and if the observed value is 0 there is no diversity and if the observed value is uh, of H max then there is maximum diversity so let me write right here that if H max equal to age okay then there is maximum diversity okay if age equal to 0 then there is no diversity if age is nearer to age max then is higher level of diversity okay and if age is uh, not nearer okay or far h is far from h max then there is low level of biodiversity okay so just remember this thing whenever h equal to h max there is maximum diversity when h equal to 0 there is no diversity when h is nearer to h max there is high level of diversity when a, when h is far from h max there is low level of biodiversity okay so i think now this is clear to you and if you find this video useful so don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and if you are new to my channel i would like to request you to kindly subscribe to the channel and support us thanks for watching and happy learning